you could actually see the saliva coming at full force, full, you know, torpedo, you know, coming out of her mouth from this cough, going all over the other person. Doesn't cover her mouth at all, right? I got fed up with her whinging and bitching, right? She wasn't winning anything. And at the end of the night, I turned around to her and I said, you've got nothing to complain about, Sharon. I said, look at all the money you made. Look at all the money you won last week. I said, you're doing quite well. Oh, that was last week. That's not this week. I'm sorry, she's ungrateful. And then she claims that she left her purse in her friend's car and the friend has taken her purse. No, I don't think so. Because she claims the friend's taken off with $1,700. No, I don't think so. Because one, I, because one, the police would get involved with it. She claims she's gone to the police and she reckons they won't do anything. Ah, uh, that's a lie. I know for a fact. If it's big money, like $1,700 $1, worth, they get involved, right? Besides that, she would be at her friend's place demanding the money back. So I don't believe that for a minute. His hair's getting all inky boggy. So I don't believe that for a minute. <sighs> I think it's full of shit, personally. So, I don't know. But I got... Seven eggs today. That was pretty good. Um... I had to go down and get some more chicken pellets because bless them, they'd, they'd eaten it all. Um, I thought I would try some stuff. Mm. So, so for twenty kilo bags. I can get either rolled barley for $23.95 or whole barley for $21.95. So I think I'll go for the whole. Um, they've got corn. I'll go for the cracked one for twenty four fifty. Um, a bag of sunflower seeds, black. It's forty four dollars and ninety five. So. That's pretty good. So if I can get all this for them, you only need to put like two scoops of each in a um, bucket. 
except for the sunflower seeds you put that in after but what you do is you put the barley and the corn wheat I forgot to get wheat I get wheat as well um you put it all in a bucket right that serve put that in a bucket fill it up with water not all the way up right but you cover it so there's like that much water right over the content and you leave it in there for three days until it ferments. Then you drain it. And then you add your sunflower seeds to it. Mix it around. And you add your chilli and stuff to it as well. And then you give it to them. You just throw it out on the grass. And apparently that... Apparently that is the best food you can give them. And I've been told that if I give them this, they'll lay. And because I've got no toast buds, right? They've got toast buds, right? But. But they don't, the effect, the heat from the chilli doesn't affect them. Like, to us, it would burn our bloody mouths off, right? But to them, it doesn't, right? It can be as hot as anything. And they still like it, right? It doesn't affect them. But what it does is, it warms them up from inside their bellies, like their crops, and it goes right through the system. So their whole system inside is warm now apparently it's not so much your it's not so much the um energy um thing from the chicken feed that makes them lay eggs it's the heat um if a chicken like if a hen is cold like if she's cold, she's freezing, freezing, she's feeling the cold, right? And she's cold, right? Um, she will not lay an egg. Apparently. They will not lay an egg if they, if they feel cold. Okay? But if they're warm, they lay eggs. Go to the I don't know. So, the chili warms them up, warms their system up, so they're warm, because so, they lay an egg. So, um, I've got to find out where I can buy chili flakes from. Um, also, rodents don't like chili they can't stand it so that's also a good way of making sure that there's no mice or rats or anything because they won't come near anything they won't eat the food or anything because it'll have chili in it so that's always good so i've got to find out where to get the chili flakes from And if I can't get chili flakes, I might have to buy chili plants so that I can grow my own chili, pluck the chilies off, cut them up really fine. And give them a serving of ch pure chilli in the mornings. I 
I'm thinking. And then they'll start to lay again. So they'll be alright. Um, let me see. What else has been happening? I think Shelby is going to... I think Shelby and Brody... I think you're going to do a bit more to the kitchen. She pulled out a couple of things and she's been cleaning them. So I have a suspicion it's the cupboards go over the top. So that would be good. Um... Eating them. They eat them all. Um, yeah, so there you go. That's been my uh, week, day, week, week, day, whatever you want to call it. So Hope everybody else's day's been good. Oh, I forgot to get a drink. I'll use Shelby's cordial. But apart from anything else, that's it, been it, been it really. I mean, not much else has been happening, really. People across the road are still moving out. So that's great. Adrian said he was going to send me the um, license key to the karaoke program that we both use. And if you did that, that would be amazing because that would save me like $160 or something to buy. So that would be really amazing if he could do that. He said he was going to do it yesterday, but he hasn't done it yet. So I'm waiting on that. If I, if I have to buy it, like if I have to pay and get my own, I, I will do so. But if he could do it, if he could send me a key so I didn't have to, that would be amazing. Um, yeah, that, that would be amazing because that would save me like $160. So that would be really helpful. Because I still want to get, I want to get that and I want to get... Um, I really want to get Diablo 4. So I really got to get out, like, not like permanently, um, but I've got to be able to get out of Second Life and, and do something else. Like, I'll keep going in it each day kind of thing, you know what I mean? Like, when I've got sets and stuff. Um, but... And I'll go in once a day to check my messages and stuff, right? But other than that, I, I, I just, I have to get out of it and I, I have to go and do something else on the computer. And, you know, I play like Star Wars, the Old Republic, that's fun. But, you know, you get, you know, a bit bored after a while of that, you know, it kind of can only do so much in that kind of thing. So... I want to get back into Diablo and I want to get into Diablo 4 because Diablo 4 is meant to be the thing, you know, the thing. So, um, so I want to do that, but that's like a hundred dollars. That's over a hundred dollars right there just to begin with. So I want to like do that and then I want to get this 
karaoke program thing. And there's like 160 there. Um, and I don't get enough money to be able to just go out and get both of them at the same time. I wish I did, but I don't. So um, I'm, I've got to do one. I've got to get one one payday, and then I've got to, you know, get the other one another payday. So if um, Adrian could send me this license key, it would be it would help out heaps. I can't get anything this week, like this payday, because I had to. Because I went down to get the two chickens, and they'd mucked it up on the website, and they had used the old one from last time where they were in Warrigal and I'm thinking oh okay they're back in Warrigal again that's not too far it's only like 35 minutes or something like that from here that's it's not far at all 40 minutes I think at the most not not a problem right day comes but I find out it's not in Warrigal at all it's from Barnsdale pretty nearly two hours away Lucky it was back that way, not city-wise. It was back sale end of the country. So there was like $50 I had to spend that I hadn't planned on for petrol. So, you know, by the time I'd finished, it cost me quite a bit of money. So, unfortunately, I had to dabble into some of my um, other allotted finances. So, to be honest, I haven't really got much at all at the moment because I've had to, you know, we're buying food and then chicken food and pet food and all this sort of thing. Most of it's gone. So, I'm going to have to restart doing it again. Um, so yes, so it would, so I can't, like, buy the program this coming payday, and I can't get Diablo 4 this coming payday, because I've got to put money away for petrol and stuff to get to Cockatoo. Because if I don't do that, I won't get to Cockatoo. So... Um, yeah. so that's it that's, that's my whole week and day I guess so I'm going to go because I've got to clean the fridge out Shelby wants me to clean the fridge out so I've got to clean the fridge out then I've got to get the girls ready to go back into their coop because it's starting to get dark well it's not getting dark but it's getting late put it that way um, and then, I don't know, I suppose just, I don't know, just, you know, around the house. There you go. Oh, yeah, and that's right, I've got to take Waddy the eggs. That's right, at least I'll get $10 because I take Waddy the eggs today. So I've got to do that. Now I can come home and relax. So with that, I'm going to go. If you are watching this on YouTube, Please go over to my TikTok and and follow and follow me. And if you're looking at this on TikTok, please go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe. We're doing really good. We had 204 subscribers, and then it dropped down back down to 20 to 203, and now it's back up to 204. So. Um, Go over there and subscribe and follow. And uh, everything will be good. My oh, bloody legs getting cold now. Um, so, yeah, so go over there and subscribe. 
and go over there and follow and uh, help me out heaps because we'd really help heaps. Um, oh yeah, before I go, I've got a friend, right? And I know he means well. I'm not going to say his name. He knows who he is. If he's watching this, he'll know who he is, right? And he's the sweetest guy. I've known him since he was a baby, right? He is. He's the sweetest guy. And look, he probably means only the very best, right? Only the very best. But he's got this thing... It's got this thing about voting, like politics, right? And he's got this theory. He's got this theory that everybody's right to vote should be taken off them. And only those that have got a license should be able to vote. A license and a permit to say that you are qualified to vote. And he reckons the way you get that is if you enlist into the army and you do six to seven months or something like that, or eight months or 12 months or something like that, in the army. And then you've got to take a, a, like a, a written course or something like that. And if you pass, if you pass, then you're allowed to vote. Right? But if you don't pass it, or you don't take the course and you don't enlist, you should not be allowed to vote. And the reason why he's saying all this is, is because he doesn't like Dan Andrews or Daniel Andrews, right? Now, a lot of people don't like Dan, right? I mean, they didn't like how he... They don't like how he managed the situation through COVID. They didn't like it because he didn't buckle down. He didn't, he didn't buckle underneath pressure and he didn't give them what they wanted, right? He stood firm. He said, this is how it's going to be, and that's how it was. He didn't change his mind. He didn't waver. He didn't do anything. He stood firm. Right? The man's got backbone. And they just didn't like a couple of other things that they claim he did. Okay? Now, what politician is perfect? Come on, seriously, what politician in history, past and present, which politician has been absolutely 100% plus more perfect? There is none. They're not perfect. They all make mistakes. They are not perfect. They all promise to give the people something, whether it's one thing or whether it's two or three or four, it doesn't matter. They all promise to give something back to the public if the public vote for them and get them into Parliament. And then as soon as they get in, they all, it's just not a couple, all including Dan, I'm quite sure there's been a few things Dan's promised that Dan hasn't done. Well, I mean, he's not going to be any different. He's not perfect. 
I'm quite sure he's done the wrong thing here, there and everywhere. Just just like the other politicians have. And just like the next lot of politicians after Dan and, you know, 25 years from now. They're all going to be the same. They're all going to promise something and they're not going to deliver. And the people aren't going to like it. But, I mean, it's just not Dan. Now, I like Dan. If I voted, I would have voted for Dan. I don't vote. It's a waste of time. To spend all that time um, lining up and filling out all these... Freaking... It's like an essay now to fill out a form to bloody vote. You go in there, it's like doing a bloody fucking essay. Go fuck a paper for this and a paper for that and a paper for something else and a fucking this thick. Yeah, it's like a fucking essay. Who wants to do that shit? I don't vote. I haven't voted for years. And I don't intend to start. I think it's all bullshit. They all say that they're going to do this and they all say they're going to do that and they all say they're going to do something else and they fucking don't they're lying cunts that's what they are so do i vote no do i want to vote no that's just me do i rip the the present parliament Apart? No, I don't. Like, okay, Dan won. Dan Andrews and his party won. Right? I was happy that he won. I think he makes a good parliament person. I do. He's got backbone. I like people with backbone. I support people with backbone. Okay, I didn't vote, but it doesn't mean I don't support him. I'm glad he got in again. I'm glad he did. And he wouldn't have got in if people really didn't want him in. He got in because people want him back in. Not because they want him out. If, if they wanted him out, he wouldn't have got back in. There's only a small few majority that wanted him out. It wasn't enough to, to overrule the ones that wanted him back in. But he got back in. Big deal. You know, let him do his thing. Big deal. Right? If the other parliament, if the other party of parliament that they were all voting on, right? If they got in and Dan didn't get in, I wouldn't be bitching about it now. I'd say, oh, okay, fair enough, whatever. Well, no, I'll just keep going on with my life. But no, not this particular friend of mine. He's bitching and he's whining that he wants everybody to vote the same way he does. And then he got nasty. Then he started to call everybody that did not agree with him and would not vote the way he wanted them to vote. He called them stupid and idiot. That's putting it nicely. He did use other words to describe what people are. But we'll just leave it as idiots and fools and idiots. But you get my drift. And I said to him, I said, that's just gone a little bit too far. Yeah, he stop complaining, stop whinging. I say, I don't see you enlisting in the army. And 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 who do you think you are? What you do not have God given right to tell everybody who can vote and who cannot vote. It's not your job. You don't have that say. You should not be doing it. And he's going on like, oh well, it's my Facebook page. I can do whatever I want on it. Well, you can't do anything you want on it. I mean, yeah, it is your Facebook page, but I'm sorry, mate, but you cannot put anything you want on your Facebook page. People report it, and you get you you get it removed. You get it suspended, and if you keep doing it, you get it removed permanently. Facebook won't put up with it. 
So now you can't put it just anything you want on your page, sadly, because it is your page, and you should be able to put whatever you want. You should be able to. This is your page. You should be able to put whatever you bloody want on it, but you can't. Because there are too many people out there that take offence to what you say, and they go and they complain, and they get you suspended and removed. Oh, no, you can't just say what you want. Now, that light went out years ago. But give me your thoughts. I mean, do you agree with his stupid idea? Yeah, you got to enlist in the army for eight or more months. And then you got to take this damn course. Before you can even, before, and, you, and you've got to pass it, before you can even have the privilege of voting. Really? No, I don't think so. And then to call us all stupid, because we didn't agree with him. Stupid and idiots, that's putting it nicely. But that's what apparently we are to him. Because, because we don't agree with what he's saying. I've never heard of anything so stupid. And his logic, his logic is, would you get in a plane with a pilot who didn't have a license to fly. I mean, people turn around to him and say, well, no, I wouldn't. Which, you know, I wouldn't. You go, my, my point, exactly. And would you go in and have an operation done by a surgeon who wasn't certified as a surgeon he wasn't trained as a surgeon and he said well no I wouldn't no yeah, exactly he said so why should we let uneducational people who one don't understand politics two don't care about politics Three, you got the ones that are loyal voters and will vote for the, the side no matter what. Why should we let them vote to ruin our country? I'm sorry, but it's not the voters that are ruining the country. It's the, politi it's the politicians that are ruin ruining the country. The, the voters aren't running the country. They're not in politics. They're not running the country. They're just voting for the people. So unless you vote the way he wants you to vote, then you're all idiots and fools. And he's still bitching about it. He's still bitching over the fact that he is, the people he, he voted for didn't get in. Uh -uh. So there was that the other night. I had a go at him about it. Because, because he was including me in those remarks. Because I don't agree with him. I heard him and I said, you need to just let it go. Okay, they didn't get in. Big deal, you know. Move on. You know, concentrate on the future. You know, wait for next voting and re-vote again and maybe your party will get in. 
then you'll be happy. But you can't do that. He's constantly got to bring it up. But then to call us stupid and idiots, uh, like I said, that's putting it nicely. He did say other things that I won't, I won't repeat because they weren't really very nice. What everybody is. If we don't agree with him and do what he says. It's like a little Hitler. You know, Hitler was the same. You do what I say, you know, how I say, when I say, and what I say, and how I say. That's what you do. Otherwise, you're an enemy. That's how Hitler was. That's why it was. That's why he was one, probably one of the worst. He's not one of. He's not the worst, but he's one of the worst. I think there's only like a handful of them in in total history that was really, really, really bad, and Hitler's amongst them. I think there were a couple of others too, but I can't remember their names. But that were just a bit worse than Hitler. But Hitler's right in there with them. And that's how he was. If you didn't do what he said and you didn't agree with what he said, you were killed. You were killed. You were put in, put in prison, prison camps and you were gassed. You went to work and, you, and if you didn't do the right job, you, you were gassed or shot. And, and this guy, this friend of mine, he's almost the same. I mean, not the gassing and shooting part, but, you know, oh, well, you have to do it the way I want you to do it. Is that what he's saying? I think it's ridiculous. Again, like again, like he's going on like, and he's got these supporters, right? And they're all going, well, if you don't like the way he's, what, if you don't like what he's saying, to unfriend him. And then he's got into the habit now. Well, if you don't like what I'm saying, just unfriend me. So now it's gone from. That's my views on it, and. But, you know, I, there's no need to unfriend anybody. It's just my views. It's gone from that to, well, if you don't like what I'm saying, you can unfriend me. So we're virtually turning around and saying, well, unless you agree with me and you stand behind me on this, I don't want you and I don't need you as a friend. That's what he's saying. So, anyway, I am going to go and do what I need to do and then I'll catch you guys tomorrow. So, have a good one. I'll catch you guys later. Catch you later, guys. Bye.